the plan for this uh, short test is to see how much hotter I can get the large crucible uh, to get. Um, I've insulated it after I've insulated it with a thin layer of kale wool. Notice I've even got a little cover over it. Just see how hot it'll get. Okay, and for right now, uh, as you can also see, I have the fan moved out of the way so that I can uh, get a, a gate signal scope reading uh, as I turn this thing on. If it behaves like it did the other day, I'm going to be drawing 20 some amperes here. So, here we go. Pumps working, fans working, scope is on, which you can't see. But anyway, it's on up there. And I'll take a still picture of the of the trace and add that in later. Here we go with power. Oh, 24 volts because the crucible draws too much current at 36. And about 25 amps today. Okay, I've got my picture. Keeping the MOSFETs cool is really important if you want to run the system for more than a few minutes at a time. The faster that the MOSFETs get to full on, the cooler they will run. Study both of these gate waveform pictures. The first one shows gate voltage with 20 plus amps of drain to source current. The second one shows only 2 amps of gate to drain of, I'm sorry, drain to source current. This is the gates trace for the 2 amp draw scenario. A perfect situation would be one where the gate voltage rises from 0 volts to maximum volts in almost zero time. But see that it takes longer for the MOSFETs to get out of the linear region toward full on with the 20 amp uh, current draw compared to this second scope trace which shows a higher percentage of full on time when there's only this 2 amp draw. I know it's a little bit hard to make an exact comparison between the two pictures since the frequency is lower at the high load than it is at the low load. Now I'm going to turn the power off and I'm going to remove the uh, scope probes Okay, I'll push the fan back over. So here we go. We already got up to 165 degrees Celsius. And I'll start my timer. Voltage is 23.34, 310 Celsius on the uh, crucible, 20, looks like 22 and a half amps. This is the total amperage, so about 20 is being actually drawn by the circuit. Voltage is down to 23 already, 400. Celsius Current is still 22 amps It's interesting we started at 24 so when the voltage was higher we were actually drawing more current. I'm going to feel the the board and the, the 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 heat sinks aren't bad they're just a few degrees above but the board is 
uh, a, a few degrees above ambient. So there, well, there may be 105, but the bottom of the board is probably 110. Capacitors are nice and cool, at least the ones on the outside. Wow, down to 21.9 volts already. 612 Celsius, <clears throat> 620. I can see the crucible glowing as I peek down through there. 670. The board is getting kind of warm. I haven't been testing the, uh, I haven't been looking at the temperature of those inductors. The board's getting pretty warm. Twenty, twenty and a half amps, twenty-one volts, seven hundred and ten Celsius. I have a work lamp on there to try to illuminate the the uh, temperature meter. Seven twenty-six. Seven thirty seven, seven thirty eight, seven forty. <clears throat> now we're almost four minutes into the test, just a hair over twenty amps and twenty volts. I can feel heat coming out of the coil here. Uh, water temperature is eighty four degrees. Temperature still climbing at 765 Celsius in there. <clears throat> it's climbing, but it's fairly slow. Just a hair over 20 amps, 20.7 volts. Five minutes into the test, I think I'm going to uh, kind of call it here. I'm going to turn off this. Well, no, first I'm going to do is let the camera peek into the crucible. I don't know if you can see it. See the glow in there or not. Okay, so now I'm going to put it back in place here. I'm going to turn the light off that you can't quite see. That's incandescent. So, peek in there again. Okay. 20 amps, 20.7 volts, 806 Celsius. The crucible, except for the bottom, looks nice and orange to my naked eye. So we'll see what it looks like in the camera right now, which is part of this test. And in my viewfinder, looks all white except for the bottom. Now I'm going to turn off the light. And uh, to my naked eye, the crucible looks like it's a nice bright orange and you can see what it looks like in the camera lens there. Now if I can put the thing back in the dark. Turn the light back on. 816 degrees. I think that's kind of what I wanted to see. Uh, the insulation sure does help. So I'm going to call the test at this point. Well, you know what? No, it's running okay. I'm going to put the insulation, the cover back on, feel the board. The board isn't getting much hotter, at least uh, over by the FETs.
capacitors, sorry about the phone, the capacitors are just starting to warm up. Again, sorry about the phone, 827 degrees Celsius, 830. I think that's probably about what we're going to get out of it, 831. Okay, 20 amps, 20.46 volts, that's that. Power, oh, water temperature, 100 degrees, 52, so we're in seven and a half minutes. We had the power on seven and a half minutes. Boy, I'm really tickled with the fact that the board has held up well now that I've got most peat created problems taken care of.